welcome back to our studies hope all of you had a good time with your family and friends do you remember what was our first topic in grade 3 yes numbers in numbers we studied up to four digit numbers we will continue the same topic in grade 4 in our new chapter we will study five digit and six digit numbers our first topic is reading and writing of five digit and six digit numbers children which is the largest four digit numbers yes 9999 if we add one to the largest four digit number we will get the smallest five digit number that is 10000 which is the largest five digit number 99000 99999 if we add one to the largest five digit number we will get 1 lakh Children last year we learned 1's place, 10's place, 100 place and 1000's place In 5 digit one more place values that is 10,000 The place value chart of 5 is divided into 1's place and 1000's place so ones place we belongs to ones tens and hundreds and thousands place belongs to thousand and ten thousand and six digit we have one more place value that is lakh write the place value of each digit in expanded and expanded form we can write this number in a place value chart so first we have to write from the right to left so three we can write at the ones place and next number eight we can write at the tens place and one we can write at the hundreds place and six we can write at the thousands place and five we can write at the ten thousand place and last digit four we can write at the lakhs place so the place value of three ones and the place value of eight tens and the place value of one hundreds and the place value of six thousand and the place value of five ten thousand and the place value of four is lakh so three into one three and three into 8 into 10 80 and 1 into 100 100 6 into 1000 6000 and 5 10,000 50,000 then 4 Black. The expanded form of this number 4 lakh plus 50,000 plus 6,000 plus 100 plus 80 plus 3 while writing a six digit number put a comma to separate the periods so ones then thousands then lakh we have to read from the highest place so 4 lakh 56183 we already discussed how to read five digit and six digit numbers that is as per Indian place value system or also known as Hindu Arabic place value system internationally we used another system we know Indian place value system the periods are ones thousands lakhs and cores in the international place value system the periods are ones thousands 
and millions. Now we can take small activity with the help of blocks. Children, we have two place value charts, Indian and international. We, we will try to represent the numbers using both systems. Take an example, 483212 number. Few blocks in my hand. Each block represents a number. How many blocks we have to keep at the ones place? Yes, we have ones place which number? 2. So we can keep 2 blocks at the ones place. And how many blocks we have at the tens place? Yes, 1. And how many blocks we have at the hundreds place? And next which place? Thousands. So we have to keep how many blocks? Three. Next which place? Ten thousand. So we have to keep eight blocks. Next which place? Lack. How many blocks we have to keep? Four. We kept blocks in, in the old place value chart. Let's count the blocks from left to right, which is the highest place value. Where the blocks is present, the highest place value here, 4. So how many blocks are there? 4. So we can read 4 lakh. The next, next which one? Yes, we have next place is 10,000. And next place is 1000. How many blocks in 10,000? Yes, we have 8 blocks. And how many blocks in 1000? We have 3 blocks. So what is the place value of 8? Here, 8 is standing in which place? 10,000. So 80,000. And how, the next is 1000. What is the place value of 1000? 3 is standing in which place? thousands place. The place value of 3 is 3000. Now we can combine 1000 and 10,000. So we have to, according to the Indian system we have to combine 10,000 and thousands. So 80,000 plus 3000 we have 83,000. Next is ones place. How many blocks in 2? We have 2 blocks. So 2 is standing in which place? Hundreds place. Next, how many blocks in 1's place? 1. So the tens place 1 we have. So the value of 1 is tens. Next which place? 1's place. 1's place we have 2. So the value of 2 is 2. So we can combine tens and 1's. So we will get Indian standard we combine tens and 1's we will get we can write 10 plus 2 is 12 and we can read this number 4,83,212. Same we can do at the place international place value system. Here we have one place 2 so 2 blocks we can keep and one place we have 1 so we can keep 1 block and 100 place we have 2. So we can keep two blocks and thousands place which number three. So how many blocks we have to keep three. Next to ten thousand place. Ten thousand place which number eight. We have to keep um, eight blocks. Then hundred thousand. How many blocks? Yes, four blocks. So we have to read from the highest place value chart. Here highest place value is a hundred thousand. So we can read. 483,212. We can combine here, here 400,000. This two combine 10,000 and 1,000 combine. We will get 83,000. And once place we have 300. So tens and ones combine we have 12. Children, we will go through the chapter. Our chapter name is Large Numbers. The main topics are 5 and 6 digit numbers. 5 digit numbers having 5 place value holders in the place value chart. From 1 to 10,000. 
and six digit having six placeholders in the place value chart from ones to lakh. Next is successor and predecessor. Successor of a number is the next number in the number line. Predecessor of a number is the previous number in the number line. Moving to our next topic which is comparison of numbers where we will compare two numbers and identify which is largest and smaller. Then rounding off the numbers to the nearest tens, hundreds and thousands. And next important topic of this chapter representing the numbers in international and Indian standard. And we conclude the chapter with the Roman numerals, a presentation of various numbers. Children, we learned 5 digit and 6 digit numbers place value chart and Indian and inter international place value system. So practice well and work out the problem. See you in the next class.